So, about a week or two ago, I received a package from 3-in-1. Did a first impression on it. Well, I've got four more that I didn't get to then that I'm gonna tell you about now. Wanna know what they are? Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense here and we got a first impressions video. I've got four fragrances from 3-in-1 that I've got to tell you about. So we got a first impression. I didn't do all of them the first time because I wanted to save some. So what I got for you now is the four that I didn't get to. And some, uh -oh, as soon as I get them all out of the bag, I am going to tell you the names of them. This is my third video for the day and probably the last one. Getting a little tired. Anyway, the first one, it is a 15 mil and it is an extra and this is Austrian Fire. And again, I have no idea what these are supposed to smell like. Make sure I ain't got nothing on my arms there. I hadn't sprayed any cologne on today. Two good sprays. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. As my boy Sam Broom would say, oh, that's nice, man. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. It is nice. Very masculine. Um, not necessarily a barbershoppy type of scent. But definitely a masculine fragrance. Reminds me of something from the 90s. A powerhouse type of scent. I'm getting a very clean vibe to it, but not a soapy clean, just a clean, masculine, almost barbershop -y type of vibe, but not. Let's see if you can see a little bit of the sheen right there on me. Hmm. And again, this is Austrian Fire from 3 and one I would do my Arnold Schwarzenegger, but y'all ain't ready for all that. It, it's giving me a Lamel, Lamal, however you say that, a, a JPG Lamal type of vibe. Slightly, it's giving me that type of vibe. Okay. Definitely a masculine, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it's giving me a Lamal type of vibe. Not sure what they were going for. Any of the guys over at the Rim One, if you see this, Norm, Doug, whoever else, you know, feel free to comment below straighten it out you know tell us what it's supposed to be like but that's what I'm getting I'm getting a, a, a lot of Lamar from this nice fragrance smells good clean strong masculine okay I'll come back to that one in just a in just a little bit that's Austrian fire all right and what is this one <laughs> This is LVL Amensight. Amensight? Let's see if y'all can see it. See that? What that is? Wow. Y'all gonna have to straighten this one out for me, guys, because I don't know what this is. LVL. I'm inside. Hmm. I wonder if the LVL is Louis Vuitton something. And something intense maybe. Let's see, Louis Vuitton. I'm sorry, the Louis Vuitton, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then the, I guess it's, I don't know. I don't know y'all, it don't matter. I wish I could tell you what this is. I'm sure the guys at 3 and one will straight, <laughs> straighten it out. Again, that is the problem with doing first impressions. I mean, sometimes you make yourself look silly. And I wish I could pronounce this for you guys, but I cannot. Oh well. 
Yeah, I'm getting more of a Lamal vibe from that one. Okay, let's go with this LVL by three and one. And two good sprays of it there. It took a minute to spray because it's brand new. Okay. There's a lovely wife checking in. I can tell you off the top, this is a blue fragrance, sort of. Yeah, I'm getting some blueness in there. I think this is one of their creations, mashups, uh, blends, whatever you want to call them. And I know you guys are very fond of those out there, as you should be, because I mean, those are one-on creations. Hmm. I like this. Okay, this is this is very blue. This is right up my boy Jakari Pike, JP as I call him. This this is one he would like because it is blue. Oh my goodness, is it blue? This smells so good. I wish I could tell you what the name of this one is. This smells so good. This smells as if you remember me doing one of my first three-in-one first impressions. They sent me one called. ACBC, which was a, uh, what was that? Blue de Chanel and uh, a vintage Creed, a Creed Cologne, I think, and Blue de Chanel, called ACBC. It was one of their mashups. This smells as good, if not better, than that one. This smells amazing. It smells very fresh and very natural. Guys, I am sorry for butchering the name of this up, but man, I'm a country boy and this this looks like a whole other language to me. Man, I wish I knew what this was. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, this is a beautiful scent. This, I mean, this is a beautiful fragrance. This may be, man, I wish I could tell you what the name of this was, guys. Wow, that smells amazing. That 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 smells good. That smells good. Wow. Hmm. If this performs, this may be a 10 out of 10 fragrance. The ACDC didn't perform on me like I needed it to for it to give it a 10. Wow, and I don't even know the name of this. Doug, Norm, or anybody else from 3 and one if you see this, please. Please correct what this is supposed to be. Oh my goodness. Tell the people in the comments what this is. And I apologize for not being able to pronounce it. Oh, my iPhone telling me it need to be backed up. Man. Wow. Yeah, this is turning a little bit more barbershoppy now. Uh, definitely very similar to Lamar. I do like it nice and smooth, strong and masculine. And this one is fruity. Wow. Sweet and playful. I cannot wait to see what the dry down of that one is. And let's see if this one is in English and it's something that I can pronounce. <laughs> this one is African leather. I, I know exactly how to say that. <laughs> so let's see what this bad boy, you know. And I don't know if African leather is a... Again, the thing about doing these First impressions, you're almost doing, I may as well be sitting there doing it live. I haven't had time to do any research. I like it that way. It's off the cuff, straight from the seat of the pants. So, you know, strings, what you see is what you get. My first reaction, my natural reaction, that's what you get. I don't have time to put on ads, I fake it. These are live and one little spray and then a big spray. Let's see what these bad, this bad boy is. Okay. Hmm. That's nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Notice with all of these clone houses, no matter who, whether you rock it sensual, whether you rock it three in one, whether you rock it dapper, any of them, these bad boys put together such a quality product to the point where you spray it and you can go. You can go pay $100 for some high-end designer. You spray that joint, stick your nose right up to it if you want to. You're going to burn all your nostrils. This is playful. Very playful. I'm waiting on the leather to kick in. 
as hence the name African leather. It's very fruity. It doesn't necessarily remind me of anything yet, but it uh, neither did the Austrian fire. It took a minute. Thank you for sitting with me through these first impressions. I know they can be a little bit difficult sometimes, especially when they send you a bunch of numbers and letters on there. This is like some kind of low code to launch a missile, but that bad boy. Now that it's been on my skin a little bit, a lot of that blue has, has started to fade and there's some musk or some mask, something with some masculinity coming up through it now. That opening was wow, was amazing. I mean, it just knocked me out. I'm talking about the one that I can't pronounce this LVL site, whatever it is. Nice. And going back to the Austrian Fire, that definitely reminds me of a barbershop fragrance, Le Mall type fragrance, but it's not strong, it's not overpowered. Well, it's, it's masculine and it's smooth. It's not one that's gonna go through the door before you. And it's something that you guys have to understand, the higher the oil, the less obnoxious it's going to be. I'm just saying. It's just the way that it is. High, high alcohol colognes are obnoxious when you first spray them. They stand out. High oil concentration, high, high oil concentration colognes do not. They don't. They may be strong and they may stay on a while, but they're not monster projectors. They're not. Root their gentlemen. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Now, this African leather, now that it's been on a little bit, it's very sweet, very fruity, very nice. I still don't get much leather. I'm trying to pick it up. Because you got a couple kinds of leathers. You got the car leather, leather that's in a car seat. You got leather that's on a jacket. And you got the type of leather that's on a recliner. They, to me, all have different types of smells. I know it's all leather, but it's African leather. It's fruity. It's, it's in my hand. It's fruity. And it smells like a fresh, fresh fruit. It's nice. It's not, it's not an overpowering scent. It's not a date night type of scent. This is definitely, a, I'd say an office scent maybe. Now, I know I said it was playful, but it's not, it's not barbershoppy and it's, it's not, Clubby, so you know it's definitely an easy going. I like that. I'm trying to figure out what it reminds me of. Hmm. Again, guys, Doug, Norm, y'all see this? You know, let us know in the comments what it's supposed to be, what the African leather is supposed to be, what the <laughs> I can't get over this one. But the combination of letters is LVL, Amini site, Amin site, whatever that is, let us know what that's supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Now, the more this, the one that I can't pronounce, stays on my skin. Oh, man, that's, that smells nice. That, that is, that thing is going. It smells really, really good. That fruit. That playfulness, that blueness up top is mixing in with something that's making it masculine. That's nice. That's real nice. Oh, man, I can't wait for them to tell us the combinations to that safe. All right. Moving along. And the last one, I know what this one is. This is Louis Vuitton's Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. And this is one of my favorites. I have this one from Dapper. I'm trying to find, ooh, that African leather. Man, that is nice, man. It, all of these smell so nice and so fresh and so authentic, so real, so really nice, really, really nice. Okay, last but not least, Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. I have this from Dapper. Not to, you know, bring Dapper up in a three-in-one video, but I, I have it, so. And it's one of my favorite fragrances. And this one is jumping off my skin. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. If you haven't smelled Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim, 
it's a very youthful fragrance, but it does remind you of being in a pool. Is it, is it, I, I always say afternoon swim. I actually think it's just after swim. That's the African leather. I actually think it's just after swim. No, it's afternoon swim. Whatever. Louis Vuitton, after swim, afternoon swim, whatever. Oh, man. That smells good. That, that, that smells good. It, it's a little, it's very aquatic y, slightly fruity. It, it's not one of those aquatics, as Mr. Cheap sense. Mr. Cheapo Depot, the fragrant life. Um, it's one of those fragrances, man, that just has, a, it has an aquatic quality to it, but it's not an aquatic. Oh, that smells good. I'm, I'm satisfied with all four of these. Yeah, this Austrian Fire, I don't know if it's supposed to be a combo or a mashup or whatever, uh, one of their creations, but it reminds me of Lamar. Oh, uh, Chief, I got something good to tell me, y'all. And that one I can't pronounce. The, the playfulness is going away and it's turning to business. You pick up a slight blueness in there. I'm picking up, I want to say that's a little bit of leather. Maybe. And it's turned very, very masculine. Very good fragrance. The Austrian Fire is straight man. Cheapo! Yeah, you got some good to me, y'all. The Austrian Fire is definitely a barbershop fragrance. I know in the beginning I said that it wasn't, but it is. Nice, clean barbershop. I'm picking up on, I think, a little bit of lavender in there. Great fragrance, though. Definitely a gentleman fragrance. I think a, a, a guy my age and younger could wear that. Maybe say 25 and up. I wish I could pronounce that one that I sprayed right here because that sucker is kicking. It smells good. It's fruity. It's playful. It's well balanced. It's nice. And this African leather, it's 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 almost like it wants to go fruity tropical, but then it comes back masculine and mature. If that makes any sense. But it's got a little bit of playfulness to it. <laughs> Cheapo texting again. It's almost got a little bit of playfulness to it. Man, that's nice. And this ah, that afternoon swim is just so refreshing. That's why I've been wearing it a lot this summer. It's so refreshing. It's such a refreshing fragrance. It's like drinking a big old glass of water, which I'm gonna need after doing all of this stuff. All right, guys, that is my first impressions of the last four from three and one that I had. And they are all bangers. You guys need to look up 3-in-1 Fragrances on Facebook. I'm not sure if they have a... Um, what's we call it? Instagram. I know I have a card from 3-in-1 here. Let me get this real quick. See if I can see it for the glare. Their website, uh, you can email them at three in one perfumes at gmail.com and everything is spelled just like it's supposed to be the number three the letter n the number one perfumes at gmail.com i'll hold it up so maybe you can see it there for those that, that need to see it can you guys see that see that all right you can get you some there yeah put my little card back in here all right, guys, that's my first impressions of three in one. And again, I, I hate that these videos are so long and so awkward, but they are what they are, man. Austrian Fire, nice little barbershop type of scent. Louis Vuitton, after, after swim, afternoon swim. Great, refreshing, just ah, type of scent. Smells good. Really, a, just a great summertime scent. I mean, that's just nice. This is an amazing scent. The one that I can, oh, African leather. I'm gonna say the one I can't pronounce. This one is just sweet, almost like it wants to go tropical, but it doesn't. Nice. That's just nice. I keep smelling that African leather, and I'm wondering if it reminds me a little bit of Moody Moody. I'm trying to get it in my head. I'm trying these first impressions, man. They're, they're, they're hard to do. They really are. And the one that I cannot pronounce. That's just good, man. That's just good. The fruitiness has sort of died down in it. 
you can still smell the fruitiness in it, but it's definitely masculine and playful at this point. All right, guys, that's been my first impressions from 3 and one fragrances. Again, you guys need to check them out, support. You know, these guys that are really supporting us small time YouTubers, because I am definitely small time. And I definitely want to give back to those who have given to me. So you guys definitely show these guys some love, some support. Get your hands on some really nice fragrances at a really affordable price, man. You cannot go wrong, I promise you. All right, again, to the guys over at 3 and one thank you. And again, anytime I do a video on your product, feel free to comment down below and tell the people what I don't know or what I missed. I am not, uh, you know, that type of reviewer that's gonna be all stuck up about it. Just, you know, cause I don't know everything. I don't have a trained nose. I tell you what I think. <laughs> it's my opinion, so. But I think I'm smelling pretty good right now cause I got four beautiful, oh, that afternoon sweat. Four beautiful fragrances on my body and I like them all, but anyway. I am gonna jump off here. Be sure to like, share, and sub. Again, thank you for, for sticking with me through three videos today. And now I gotta get them uploaded. So, hope you guys have a great, great Wednesday. I'm gonna jump off here. Again, thanks to the people at 3 and one for sending me these products. You guys did a great job, I like them all. Now let's just see how they perform. All right, until next time, y'all, peace.